when a partner touches me, it feels better than when I touch myself. And this is one we hear a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's about the re the energy with another person. It's about dopamine. It's about, there's a term, new relationship energy, right? You know, when, when you're with another person, there's novelty. It's exciting. Um, you know, they might touch you in a different way than what you've been touched before. Um, and that's, that's a turn on. And dopamine is the pleasure hormone and it hits the area in our brain that cocaine hits. So it's all of a sudden everything tingles and we see, feel that thrill that will decrease with time with that partner. Mm -hmm. Right. So dopamine is kind of the cocaine high of sex, <laughs> the new partner, which that could be a lifestyle choice. But most of us, we're going to choose to probably stay with a partner or even if it's for shorter periods of time or years. So how do we sustain this? Right. And the second part of that statement is always, I still can't have an orgasm with my partner. Mm -hmm. And really Betty always said this, how we masturbate is what we bring to partner sex. And it's so true. If I'm connecting to the, my body on a regular basis and I'm cycling that orgasm energy, it's muscle memory. I've created mm -hmm. all these neural pathways. They're in my brain. My body can't anticipate. So the orgasm is kind of always right under the surface. Yes. That makes it easier to orgasm with a partner. Right, right masturbation makes you more orgasmic during partner sex. Pleasure begets more pleasure. Mm -hmm. Orgasm begets more orgasm. And mm -hmm. then another little wrinkle to that question is they say, I touch myself during partner sex, but it doesn't feel the same. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it's not, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, you don't have the same anticipation, but what it's really about is getting the blood flow and the erectile tissue filled up with blood. So take a little pressure off your partner. Right. Have them there for the touch and the kiss and the everything else. You stimulate your own clitoris or whatever your preference is. So you know you have that extra 10 to 15 minutes that you need in addition right, to his time, right? Because men, the time is shorter to orgasm. Mm -hmm. So we need more stimulation. So even if it doesn't feel the same, it still feels good. Exactly. Exactly. You know, sometimes you want to play by yourself. Sometimes you want to play with a partner. Um, it's one isn't better than the other. They're different experiences that actually feed each other. I was just thinking that of like one feeds the other. Yes. The more I masturbate, the more I think about partner sex. The more partner sex I have, the more I fantasize when I'm masturbating. Right. They're right. intertwined. Yes. Yes. So women, the way to have successful partner sex, meaning that you orgasm every time, which I have done, I figured out. So here's how I did it. I kept a journal and would write when I started masturbating, then when I had my first orgasm with time. So it took me 20 minutes to hit my first orgasm. Now I know my window. Right. 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 So either I have my five in hand on my clit where we're doing foreplay while I'm performing, you know, oral sex. And that way I'm jump started, and then I go to penetration or then I go to whatever is the next step if I'm with a man or a woman, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's coupling because mm -hmm. now I've revved my engine and I have my 10, 15 minute window in and now I'm five minutes in front of my orgasm, knowing how long does it take to my second orgasm? Right. 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 Because the first one takes the longest and then they're like pearls on a string and you'll have one and you'll see the windows get shorter and shorter and shorter. So you'll go five minutes, four minutes, two minutes, one minute. Mm -hmm. Right. So Betty used to have her first orgasm by herself and then she'd whistle for her lover mm -hmm. to come in. All right. Yeah. So yeah. you can start foreplay. If we let go of the uh, unicorn of the simultaneous orgasm. <laughs> yes. Right? We'll have more fun. And then maybe your partner has their orgasm quicker than they usually do, or you can't sync it. That's fine. You can always keep going and have partner assisted masturbation where they play with your nipples or they kiss your neck. Sharing orgasm mm -hmm. can happen in so many ways, but we limit ourselves mm -hmm. to a heteronormative five minute orgasm. It's not going to happen. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. I also think prioritizing your own pleasure with a partner. Um, and I know when I was younger, I always, I would tend to prioritize my partner's pleasure over my own. And, you know, when you don't come to the table as an equal and you're trying to serve someone else's needs, your own needs get put on the back burner. Um, yeah. So, so making, knowing that you deserve pleasure, that you deserve an orgasm. Um, so you'll speak up if something's feeling uncomfortable, you know, if, if something's not right, if you would prefer something else, um, you'll, you'll let your partner know. So you come to each sex act with the accessories you need, the extra mm -hmm. lubricant, the vibrator, maybe a dildo. Who knows? You mm -hmm. come to that sex act saying, hey, I'd like to try X, Y, Z, mm -hmm. right? I know what I want. I know my preference. And you know, you can always take it home. You can always, you know, sometimes fucking can be foreplay for masturbation. Done. Easy. Always yes. about you. And that's going to extend your pleasure experience. You know, hey, so in the beginning, there's always that new relationship energy, that hit of, of dopamine. But if you're in a relationship long term, you know, months, years down the road, you lose that magic, you know, of, of the initial. But if, if you bring your skills to the table, then you'll extend pleasure with a partner. And how do you gain those skills? Masturbation and self-exploration and self-pleasure. 